Welcome back everyone. Yes, this is a video about a bidet, but it's a very special bidet video. I know I've done a lot of bidet videos on this channel. I've done bidet videos about unboxing bidets, how to use bidets, most commonly asked questions about bidets. This video is announcing that the Holy Hiker backpacking bidet that I've been working on for like two or three years is finally ready for sale. Now, if you are one of those gamers with a short attention span, you can just go to holyhiker.com or backpackingbidet.com and you can check them out there. Uh, if you are one of those people with a longer attention span that just loves to know all the background information about a product before you buy it, stick around. If you are someone who is just interested in whether or not to buy a backpacking bidet and this is the first video that you came on when searching the internet, stop right here. This video will be useless to you. Go in the description, check out the video on how to use a bidet and in that video I'll show you how to use it and try to convince you why you should try one. There's nothing about using a bidet in this video. I'm just going to talk about the Holy Hiker backpacking bidet and a little bit about how it came about. So about six years ago or so, I purchased my first bidet and it was a game changer. If you talk to anyone who tries a bidet backpacking, they'll kind of say the same thing. It totally changes your backpacking. And I went through, I don't know, probably about four different bidets. If you've done any research on backpacking bidets, you recognize these two. And I have a couple more in the house I didn't bother to bring down. And each bidet that I tried had something I liked, something I wanted to change, something I wanted to add. So in the fall of 2019, I decided to start designing my own bidet. And about a week later, that dream kind of died. And then in March of 2020, like a lot of you watching this video, I found myself home. And I decided to take that file out and start tweaking it and see what I can come up with. And after a bunch of different tries and a bunch of different prototypes, this is one of the original Holy Hiker backpacking bidets. And I thought that I had nailed it and I was really proud of it. And that's when I decided to start sending it out to some people to test it. And let me tell you, they offered up a lot of good advice. And I just want to pause right here. And if you are one of the people who tested one of the prototypes and gave me feedback, I simply cannot thank you enough. Um, this video and the, the Holy Hiker backpacking bidet would not ever have been possible without the feedback from all of the testers from across the United States and three different continents. So thank you so much. Um, I truly appreciate it. And if you are one of those testers that I have yet to contact, um, feel free, shoot me an email and we'll talk about how to get you one of the new ones. All right. So this was one of the originals and I thought I had nailed it. And after long-term testing, when I say long-term testing, I mean like five, six months, there was a problem. One of them cracked. So I went back to the drawing board, redesigned it, did another short-term testers, short-term um, test with, with different people, and then waited for the long-term results. And another one cracked. And again, this takes a lot of time, you know, to design, to prototype, send them out, and get feedback, not just on once or twice, but on people who are using it month after month after month. And I should stop here. You're going to see some other bidets that look like this out on the internet that I know people have seen some of my early designs and then they went and took the design and basically tweaked it and now sell it as their own. Before you buy somebody else's design like this that's 3D printed, please ask them what their long-term testing was. How many months in a row, how many days in a row was their bidet used before they started selling it? And you need to know that information because I can tell you right now that I could sell you this one and you'll love it for a month or two and then all of a sudden <laughs> you could drop it in a certain way or you can try to take it out of the bottle and it will crack. So if you're gonna do another bidet from somebody else, please ask about long-term testing. So eventually I kind of gave up because they kept cracking. And that is when I decided to go and talk to some plastic guys because I had spent almost two years on this and I didn't just want to throw it all out. I'd bought 3D printing machines, all sorts of different plastics and stuff. And you know, my investment is sitting on a counter and I figure I can't just throw it all away. So 
I went and I met with two more people and they introduced me to a totally different type of plastic, a totally different type of machine. And as they say, the rest is history. So as you can now see, they are very different. Um, the new Holy Hiker, the final version right here that you'll find on the website is half the size and it's just short of a gram of half the weight. On my scale, it sometimes flutters between the two. I'd love to say half the size and half the weight, but it is about one gram uh, shy of that. So it's about eight grams. It will use, if you are an experienced bidet user, you can get it down to about 200 milliliters of water per use. Now take that with a grain of salt, because if you're new, you're automatically gonna use a lot more. And some people just like to use a lot more water. Um, but I've done a lot, <laughs> done a lot of testing. Because I was home last year from work, I was able to test this every single day. And once you get confident, you can use a lot less water than you think. The video you've been watching I recorded a couple of weeks ago, and the section on water usage has kind of bugged me a little bit. And I just, I kind of want to do it over and make it a little bit more clear with some more detail. Uh, in the video, I did mention that it's about 200 milliliters of water per use. And I can't stress enough that that is going to just really depend on who you are. It's just really going to depend on who you are. Uh, and I just wanted to show you an example of my water usage. So the last couple of days, I made a point of checking exactly how much water that I use. And just to show you on a smart water bottle right here. So I think you can see those two lines right there. So if I kind of zoom out to the whole water bottle. So it's the distance between those two lines, which is 100 milliliters of water. And that is almost exactly how much water I use the last two times that I use my bidet. So I am not going to promise that you will use 100 milliliters of water, um, but I just want to say that you could uh, with some experience and uh, with some experience. Um, otherwise, you can probably assume that you will be using 200 milliliters or more of water. Uh, again, I think especially for first time users, you're going to go squirting like crazy. Um, but eventually you kind of bring it down and bring it down and bring it down and bring it down. Uh, and again, uh, hundred milliliters is where I'm comfortable. Um, I don't know, trying to get anything below that for where I am, there's really no point to it, but I just wanted to stick this in here, uh, to be very clear that the number that I gave in the video of 200 milliliters I, again, I could see somebody saying, well, oh my God, you said 200 milliliters and it took me 800. So it's really going to depend on who you are um, and just how comfortable you are and your experience level. All right. Thanks. Um, there is an arrow on the top. You can see it on this one right here. And the reason for the arrow is obviously it tells you which way the, the water is getting squirted. But if you... You can see that. Basically, if you put your thumb where the arrow is, and then when you put it behind you, it's always going to be pointed in the right direction. So you don't have to necessarily think, ah, that's where the spray is. As long as you put your thumb where the arrow is, most people are going to be holding it in exactly the direction that they need to. There are four holes, and that's going to give you this really cool spray. And I'm not going to go into the size or the angle or anything about the spray because uh, that's some proprietary information. But just keep in mind that this Holy Hiker is the original four hole backpacking bidet. So if you see others out there, I know they're out there. This is the original right here that's been tested over and over and over to give this perfect spray. To put it in and out of the water bottle, it's really fairly easy. Um, it was designed exclusively to fit a smart water bottle because that's what a lot of people bring. Um, but it does fit most other bottles. The key word there is most. Um, I know there was some water bottle on the West Coast that it didn't fit. Um, some of the tiny smart water bottles, people said it was a little tight on. If you are an international person, um, you, Everybody international has been able to find a bottle that it fits like a water bottle. Um, and I know in some countries, some people went through a couple of different bottles, but everyone has been able to find one that it fits. Now, officially, if you look on the website, it does say to wet the O-rings before you insert it.
but eventually, I mean, you, you could saw, you could see what effort that took right there. The bottle is dry and the O-rings were dry right there. Once you get the hang of it, it goes in with just a little bit of a twist with no issue whatsoever. Uh, if it is sticky at all, just wet the O-rings and then it goes right in. To take it out, and this is where a lot of people and some of the testers have brought this up, because your hands are gonna be wet, people tend to try to pull it like this and it's gonna be slippery. If you notice, uh, I'll show a close up right here. There's this little like ring of plastic. And what people will think is that's the ring that keeps it from going into the bottle too deep. And that's true. But the other thing it does is when you push against it, it will rock up and out of the bottle. So you actually don't have to pull it out. You actually just, how can I do this? You just push it sideways. Push it sideways. And it pops right out of the bottle. So it's fairly simple. Uh, and again, if it is a little bit sticky for your bottle, you can wet the O ring. Otherwise, again, I've put in so many, I don't even know how many hundreds at this point, but just with a little twist, it goes right in. Um, it does fit most water bottles. What I have found is that some of the water bottles it doesn't fit are the really, 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 really cheap ones. Um, the kind that are just so flimsy and just, you know, like there's nothing to them because this part of the water bottle right here is so small that the rubber uh, O-ring goes too deep. I mean, you can just place it in a little bit and it will work, but you know, who wants to deal with that? There are lots of different colors to choose from. Um, there are some subtle differences between them and that's all explained online. Uh, the white one, and the green one, and a couple of other ones are made from what's called an ABS-like plastic. So they're a little bit, they're, they're more durable. Uh, if you look on the website, there is a link to a strength test where I whack it with a rock and throw it up into the air. And these are definitely more durable. But the reality is, you know, the white one is more durable than the yellow one. But you could take a rock and smash this three, four times. You could throw it up as high as you want in the air and let it come banging down on rocks and it, it doesn't crack. So is this stronger? Yes. But uh, is the average backpacker going to do something that is going to break this? I don't know. Maybe if you close it inside of your door, something like that, uh, that might break it. But otherwise, you, again, you could drop this, you can throw it, you can fall down with your pack and you'll be totally okay with it. All right. So let's talk about where you can find these. If you go to holyhiker.com or if you go to backpackingbidet.com, it will take you to the online store. Uh, I am currently using a website that is called Go Imagine. And if you've never heard about it before, check out their story. If you go to like, you know, why Go Imagine or whatever the links are at the bottom of the page, um, they started, of course, they started last year in March that when the pandemic started. So it's been a little difficult for the website to get up and running since they started in the middle of the pandemic. Um, but the reason why I chose it is because if you buy anything from eBay, if you buy something from Etsy or any online retailer, the person selling it to you gets charged a certain percent. And depending on what it is and how expensive, you know, things change a little bit. Uh, Go Imagine does the same thing. So they charge me a certain percentage, but all of their profits go to children's charities. And I thought that was really awesome. And they're still small enough where, you know, when you have a question, you're going back and forth, whether it's on the Facebook page or whether it's through emails, you know, you're still talking to the people that like started the company. And I just think they have a really neat story and they're trying to make a difference. And so I wanted to support them. Uh, the other person, people that you'll be supporting is that for every bidet that is sold, I am donating $1 to Common Ground Summer Camp and their Ranger program. Uh, it is a really cool program. It is the program that when I was 11 years old, I wish I had as a summer camper. Uh, it is in New Haven, Connecticut. And I just full disclosure, my daughter has been to the camp. My daughter has been a CIT there. She's moved up to camp, camp counselor. She's moved up to teacher in the summer. And now as of this fall, she's teaching there pretty much year round right now. Uh, and so we think it's just a fantastic place. And so for every day that's sold, 
we take a dollar and we add it to a scholarship fund. Uh, as of last year, it took $265 to send a kid to camp for one week. And if that sounds expensive for some of you in certain parts of the country, this is Connecticut. It's actually a really good deal. And I think we only have like, I don't know, even though I, I've been selling them here and there before this video, I think we only have about 15 more bidets to sell before we hit the first $265. That's really awesome that we'll be sending some kid to camp next year. And I think that might be it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I have anything else to say about the bidets. If you do have any questions, um, feel free to email me at paulthebackpacker at gmail.com. Um, just keep in mind that I am a dad, I am a husband, and I am a teacher. And then I sell bidets. So when those first three things are taken care of, that's when I deal with the bidets. So you might not always get a response within 24 hours. I normally will package and ship them over the weekend. So if you do email me during the week, uh, it's probably not until Friday or Saturday in which I will get back to you. And especially if you order one, I won't be shipping them uh, until that following Monday. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And other than that, I'm a little scared about finishing this video, which is why I'm still babbling. Uh, but I'm going to walk away right now. So thank you very much for watching.